What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Busy NFT, where we talk all things Web3. I've decided to make a how-to video on buying your very first book games token. I'm going to take you step-by-step -step from your fiat bank account through the currency, cryptocurrency exchange all the way to Token Trove, where you will be able to buy your first book games token. By the end of this video, you should be able to meet me in the vFriends Discord and show me exactly what you've bought because we've completed the task all the way through. So I'm going to be using crypto.com. That's just what I've chosen to use. So I will walk you through that. That should work very similar to Coinbase or Binance or any other cryptocurrency exchange to get money from your bank account to cryptocurrency. And then from there, we'll go through MetaMask, Immutable X, and Token Trove all the way to buying your first book games token. So follow along with me here uh, and hopefully we'll get there together. Before we go any further, I wanna mention, hey guys, just a quick reminder, I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. You know, you know that's right. Earlier this week, Gary came into the vFriends Discord and dropped some serious alpha and I went live immediately um, bringing that information to you. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the description below. It's certainly on my channel. But more importantly, even if you're subscribed, you really should turn on the notification bell. This can happen at any time, day or night, and I'm going to be tracking it and bringing it to you live. Make sure you have those notifications turned on so that you can take a part of it. The floor for some specific tokens quadrupled in an hour. If you want to be a part of that, you need to have those notifications turned on. All right, let's get to our video today. All right, here we have my crypto.com account. This is my personal account. You can see the massive amount of money I have in there. If we click to the account tab, you're going to see that I have a fiat wallet and a crypto wallet. Um, in the crypto wallet, I have a couple of tokens that I have personally bought. You can see some Cardano, some Luna. There's the Ethereum. With Token Trove and with Book Games, you're going to need to deal with Ethereum. So we're going to click the Ethereum button here. We're also going to see um, the current balance. It's not a lot, but you need to have something in there or else this transfer won't work. This was the fiat transfer we did from the bank um, to Crypto.com. I'm going to click Transfer and then Withdraw. And now we're going to an external wallet. We're going to MetaMask. And this external wallet needs to be set up previously. There's mine. I've already set that up. But if you wanted to set yours up, you're just simply going to press that plus button in the top corner, and it's going to give you the opportunity to add a wallet address. In MetaMask, your wallet is, once you create your MetaMask account, your wallet address is there for you. You can actually QR scan it if you need to, but there on this line, you're going to add your MetaMask wallet address. It is a hash of a set of numbers and letters, very simple to find. The, the main thing you're going to see there. And then give your wallet a name. I call mine MetaMask Wallet. Very simple, very easy. So we're using Ethereum. Make sure you stay on the Ethereum network, ERC20. And then we will click Continue. I've already done this, so I'm probably going to click the X right here. And then we will go back to the withdrawal platform. I'm ready to do my withdrawal. So I've got it here. And now when I click the amount that I want to put comes up. Do I want to do it in dollars? I can put $100, I can put $1, I can put $10. It's easier for me to choose how much Ethereum I wanna move than to try to do the, con the conversion, even though it's already doing that conversion for me. I click the max button there. Now here's something very important. Anytime you're transferring to layer one um, between MetaMask and your, your crypto exchange, you're always going to pay gas fees. So you need to leave some money in reserve for those gas fees. Uh, so even though I have the ability to press the max button, if I did that, it wouldn't go through because I didn't have enough Ethereum in reserve to pay the gas. So I'm going to back it down just a little bit. I don't need a lot, but rather than the whole thing of 0.14, I might do 0.01 or 0.11, 0.12. Uh, let's just do 0.01 for round number's sake, and I click the withdrawal button. Here you can see that I'm going to have the 0.01 that I'm using for my total, um, that's what's going to be transferred, but I have to pay a 0 0.005 ETH gas fee. This is pretty standard, um, and you're going to see that on any exchange that you use. When I click OK, it wants my crypto.com password. I'm not going to let you guys see that, but what it will take you to is an authentication screen. You'll have to use 
an Authenticator app as well with this specific exchange. Now, Crypto.com requires two-factor authentication, which means I need a second app on my phone to authorize that I am the person I say that I am using the Crypto.com app. Now, I use Authy, A-U-T-H-Y. Uh, there are a variety of those out there. Authy is very simple to use, easy to set up. Once I've set that up, it will then provide me a code that refreshes every 30 seconds that is linked to my Crypto.com account and validates that I am who I say I am. So on this next screen, you're going to see the Authy app um, code that was provided to me that I need to use to verify this transaction. All right, so you see the codes that I've put in there and I click Submit and it says my ETH withdrawal request has been submitted and now it is moved to my MetaMask account. All right, everyone, welcome back. So we have talked about how to move fiat money to Ethereum um, in the cryptocurrency and then to transfer that to your MetaMask account. Maybe I assume too much that you already had a MetaMask account. If not, this is gonna help us get to that place as well. Um, MetaMask is very easy to use, works well with book games and token trove, and I highly recommend it. I also use the Google Chrome um, specifically for book games and pretty much that's about all I use it for. So the extensions and the plugins are very easy and they've made it pretty simple and uh, connected to you. So that's why I use it and I'm gonna show you how to do this step-by-step. -step. First step would be to go to metamask.io and it will bring you to this screen. You're gonna click the download button. When you do, it'll ask you to install Metamask for Chrome. You click that and it will add you an extension to say, add to Chrome. I already have it. So it's, uh, it's there and that's why it says remove for me, but you click that and it's fairly simple. It pops up right here. Once this pops up, you're going to create an account. It's very simple. You'll use a username and password, not very uh, challenging. In the top right corner, you'll have um, your accounts. I created this one. This account one is my main account. I just created this one by clicking create account, typing in whatever name you want, and then click create. No need to do that again because I'm pretty sure you can't delete it. Once you have your account created, you'll see the hash here that is your address. That is where money gets sent to. In fact, this is what it looks like. It's pretty long. You can copy that to clipboard. You can scan it with your camera. Uh, I believe most smartphones have the ability to read these QR codes. And you can change the name if you'd like to here. So if you want, there's MetaMask tutorials out there about that kind of stuff. I'm just trying to get you started so we can get to the book games part. But let's do this and let's switch to my main account. You can see the deposit that was just made there. The 0.02 that I just sent um, earlier is now in the account. So the next step to get toward book games would be taking this, which is layer one, and moving it to Immutable X here. Um, immutable.com, market.immutable.com. If you click immutablex.com, it's the same thing. It's going to take you there. And we're going to click over here on connect wallet. When I connect this wallet, you'll see this pop up and it'll say sign in with your wallet. MetaMask is first choice. That's the one you should use. You click that. And then to unlock Immutable X, before you can manage, we need to set some things up. Connect your Ethereum wallet, sign in, set up your key. Very simply, I click connect wallet. I can choose which account that I have. Um, it may be that you need to input that hash that's copied over. You can do that. It should be, if you're in the same browser, that it's already recognizing that MetaMask is open. You're logged in. And so it demonstrates your account here. You select the one you want. And then we're going to click next. That's the address. It's going to see it. Account balances activity. Only connect with sites you trust. Of course, you're initiating this, so it's okay to click connect here. And very quickly, this process is happening. Now, anytime you do anything, it's going to ask you to sign with a signature request. Only sign if you've initiated the action. There may be times that this pops up where somebody else has fraudulently initiated an action. You don't want to click those. So you know that you did it. We're going to click sign in. MetaMask pops up again, says, did you uh, submit this request from Immutable? Yes, you did. So we're signing it. We click sign. 
So now my wallet is connected to Immutable X right here. I don't really need to see it um, because this isn't where we're going to do the transaction. We're actually going to go over to tokentrove.com. Token Trove, you recognize from the treasure chest. You can see book games here as well as some other projects that are out there. Um, before we get into the book games purchasing part, we need to talk about our wallet. Over here, for the first time, it will say connect wallet. I've already connected my wallet. I'm trying to record a previous video. Um, already connected my wallet. You can see my address. It matches that other address, um, the MetaMask address there. And then you can see the balances. Now, if I needed to, I could change my Immutable X account for whatever reason. I could connect my wallet. I could, MetaMask pops up. I could pick a different wallet if I wanted to. I could pick both. And then I would click next. It's going to ask me the same set of verification questions. I'm doing this. Did I submit this request, signature request? Yes, I did. Click sign. And there I'm in, right? So, um, my balance is here, but um, let's say it's zero when you start, which it will be. You're going to click this deposit button because you need to move your Ethereum to Immutable X Ethereum. And to do that, you'd have to click deposit right here. And you can see my Immutable X current balance is 4.3, right? That's right here. But this is what I have in my MetaMask account right now. I need to move this to here because the 0.43 is actually zero for you. And this is whatever you have transferred from your fiat. And so I'm going to do, let's just say 0.01. Uh, and it's ETH, that's all you can choose here. I'm gonna click deposit. Now this is important. We are moving in this step from layer one to layer two. Did I submit this request from Mutable? Yes, I did. How much am I sending over? Please confirm, 0.01 Ethereum, I'm confirming that. And then it wants me to sign the transaction, but note it's telling me that I have gas fees to pay. And this is correct. Anytime we do anything on layer one, there are gas fees. I think uh, it was genius of Gary to put it on Token Trove and uh, Book Games on layer two, so there aren't gas fees every time you make a transaction there. But for this, moving the money into Token Trove, there is a gas fee. You can see this updates every 30 seconds or so. Right now, I'm sending 0.01 Ethereum, and the gas fee is about $10, which is pretty low. 0 0.003, it's about 3 a.m. here in the U.S., so um, that's pretty low. Not a lot of people doing a lot of stuff. The total for my charge will be $42. Now it's even less. It went down, actually, just a little bit. So when I click Confirm here, the deposit is going to be in progress. Now, this can take a little bit of time, especially if it's your first time doing it or you're doing this during a busy time. It can take up to 15 minutes or so. Um, you can actually view the details of the transaction by click clicking View on Etherscan. You can see we're 15 seconds in, estimated time 45 seconds, which is very, very fast. You can see the value that's going in, the gas fee that I'm paying, um, and you can track this. This is the official hash of that. Everything on the blockchain is visible and you can see it. So I have new notifications. That is the MetaMask notification popping up saying that it has been a completed transaction. So I can go back over to Token Trove and this should update very quickly. Maybe not immediately. I can click this button, but it will update with the correct amount showing that I have completed that transaction. Sorry, I don't mean to click so fast over. I was just checking. I could also check transactions under Immutable X and see that, but that's going to get the money over here. Again, could take up to 15 minutes. Be patient, it will work. So once you have this, now we have money in Token Trove. We are ready to buy our book games token. I can minimize my wallet, come over here to book games and click book games. Uh, I, I could probably do another video entirely on how to navigate through this. It's really uh, intuitive, it's not that hard, but the things that you probably want to see first are how to sort and find specific tokens and how to check the floor price. So this is the main screen. All of the sliders are open to all selections. Three main details of a book, uh, book games token. Attribute, there are 13 core attributes and three specials for a total of 16. 
The series is always book games right now. To my knowledge, I don't think that's going to change. Spectacular is the background. There are five backgrounds. And then token frame. There are 15 token frames, and you can see the rarity percentages of each with champagne being the most rare, neon, pearl, on and on. So right now we're seeing everything, but we're seeing what's been listed recently. These are listed for sale. If I want to see what the floor is, I'm going to select lowest price. These are the lowest price tokens available currently. And I can refresh this consistently. Maybe it'll change. During busy times, it changes fairly quickly. Um, so if we're looking to buy a token, we have a funded wallet here in Token Trove with Immutable X Ethereum. We have the ability to buy. I have 0.3. This one is 0.21. This one's 0.21, on and on. If I wanted to buy something more expensive, I could certainly look for something. Convictions are pretty pricey. 1.2. I don't have enough. I could try to buy that. It wouldn't work for me. It would say you don't have enough. The good thing about this is anytime you buy on here, you're not paying gas. You are paying a royalty fee to the NFT project creator, who is Gary V. He gets a 5.5% royalty. So whoever owns this token might be only getting 0.2 and Gary's getting 0.011. So it's, it's like a gas fee to him, but it's not the same technical thing, right? He's just receiving a royalty for the trade. So the price you will pay is 0.211. There's no additional quote unquote tax on top of that. So you can select what you want. Um, let's see, which one of these don't I have? I don't know that I have a kindness. Let's go ahead and buy this kindness wood right here for 0.21. So kindness with a gold background and a frame if I wanted to, and just very quickly, I'll show you, I could select kindness, gold background, and a wood frame, and I could see what are the prices of these. So there are two at 0.21, and then the price jumps up to 0.28. Perhaps there's a reason for that. Maybe Gary mentioned uh, something special about those. I'm going to clear the filter and just go down here, and this is basically sweeping the floor. You've got two that have come in since I've done this that are now a little bit cheaper than the 0.21 that we were just at. I'm still gonna grab this kindness. I click it. I'm going to click buy now. And my immutable X says, please confirm the asset to purchase. So do I want to buy this for 0.21? I'm going to confirm. MetaMask pops up. Did you originate this request? Yes, I did. My purchase is complete and I finish. So now if I were to refresh the screen, one of these would be gone. And it is. Then I can go back to my immutable X. I can actually go to my inventory and see my tokens. And there is the kindness that I just purchased. Number 27610. And now I own it. If I wanted to list it for sale, I could. If I wanted to evaluate the transactions, I could. This is mine to have. Hopefully that helps you uh, be able to walk through. And that's it. You've just bought your first Book Games token. Congratulations. You are now on the friends list for the VF Series 2 coming in April. Um, guys, I would love to hear from you in the comments below. Please like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. I'm also happy to uh, accept your friend request in Discord, answer questions that you may have. Uh, please connect with me anywhere on my platform using BusyNFT. Uh, really appreciate you joining me each time. Remember, Web3 is the future. Book games is forever. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Check this out. Nobody else is going to see this. I was doing my research, just going back and checking some of the things that Gary had said. The day after the drop, this is a statement that he made. Nobody remembers this. You're going to get it. He said, there will be moments when I share a link and it will say, the first 50 people that burn five wood gold optimism will get X. I don't know what that means, but it seems like we're drawing close to a time where he could make a statement just like that. And he's made similar statements very recently, not calling out that specific token, but he's done that in the past. Now you know, take some action. Good luck out there.